first, not tonight, but first we're just going to go over one thing from standing on shooting a shot when they start to sort of sprawl on you. Uh, and then we'll finish the shot and then we'll go through if they guillotine you then because a lot of the guillotines come off a poor takedown. Now obviously we don't want to train poor technique, but it's very, very common if we're out here wrestling, moving around, it's really common that you see someone shoot kind of like this, okay, rather than good technique. And they might start with good intentions, but then they kind of get sprawled on and they end up in that hunched over type position. So we'll go how to recover from that and then we'll go over this, um, the guillotine stuff in a second. So we're out in our wrestling stance here. We're going to have our lead hand protecting our lead leg and our rear hand is the one that we're going to be posting with and making contact. Okay, so that changes when I'm in close. Remember, it becomes my lead hand and lead foot when I'm in close, but that range out here, I want it to be my rear hand that's leading the dance, okay? So from this position here, we're just gonna shoot, it's sort of, not that it's unrealistic, but you have to have a good shot to just shoot one from out here and get them down. You gotta be quick and you have to have good technique. We'll do that anyway with no setup, and then we'll go through what to do. So first of all, we're out here, we've got our wrestling stance. All I'm gonna do is a little, what we call a back step. So I just bring my leg in line. Imagine that you're trying to sprint. Okay, you're not going to start a sprinting race out here like this. Okay, so we're going to have that leg, so we're going to be in our stance. We just do that little back step from there. So we know our range because we're touching. If you can touch them, you're pretty much in range. Okay, we're going to back step, level change, and we want to think about getting our chest as close to our knee as we can. And now we're going to step in, and we want that lead knee to kick at least in line with this front foot. Okay, no further out than here. You don't want to land out here and try and take someone down. Okay, you want to have it at least in this line here. Right on the inside of that lead foot. From there out here on that same side as that lead leg, you're going straight onto their hip. And we want to have our head up and our back straight so that when we hit here, we're in good posture. Okay, not like this, where we get guillotine, which is what we'll do later. So we're out here in our stance, moving around, I'm touching range. So I'm going to back step, level change, penetration step, and come in here. Wait, step, step, step. So I want to be in a position where my trail leg, his lead foot, and my knee are kind of in a straight line. Like that. And so I'm in this position here. Now, I'm going to step forward, step up onto my other leg, and now I'm going to run into him as I look up and lift like that. And I should take him down onto the side here, bypassing his guard. So I'm at range, come in, level change, nice and low, shoot in, and I land here, ready to drive. So I step so I'm in line, come up like a deadlift, and I'm running up and in, like that, using my ear to take him down. So let's start with that, and then we'll go over when they start to sprawl and we're out of position, we'll recover, then we'll get guillotine and escape. Everyone okay with that? Okay, now, what happens if our stance is opposite? Should I change legs or can I just shoot? So he's, I'm shooting on him, I'm going to be dictated to by whatever his stance is. I'm not going to be able to go hang on this. <laughs> so like, if I don't want to shoot on that leg, then I'm going to have to either change my stance or get him out of position. Typically with a double leg, it'll come from the same stance. So he's left leg lead, I'm left leg lead, that's when we shoot our doubles. Okay, if he had a right leg lead, or if I had a left leg lead missing, so we don't have that same stance, it's more mirror image, it's hard to shoot a double, because as we come in, we're trying to get our head all the way in the far here. So we're shooting across their body like that. So it's much easier for them to defend in this position here. Okay. It's hard to shoot the doubles, so one second, this way, because we're kind of all out of whack. I need to drive in that way, but this leg's back, there's nothing to push off because his knee's on the ground. So I have to kind of do all of these steps before I can start to do it. Now they're going to be quick enough, they're going to sprawl, they're going to cross face, all this. So if I, if you switch your feet for me, if I want to shoot, if you only ever train your double, left leg lead, and he comes out right leg lead, that's where it's going to be things like tie ups where maybe I try and spin him around, and then I go. Okay? Unless you're the sort of person who trains both feet, so it doesn't matter which stance he's in, you can change yours, and then you can shoot. 
Typically, though, most people will have a preferred leg. And with resting, general rule of thumb is if you're right-handed, you typically stand right leg lead, because you drive off it. And if you're left-handed, you typically stand left leg lead. That's not a hard and fast rule. Okay, so you can stand however you want, that doesn't matter. Um, but just be aware, if I'm left leg lead, he comes out right leg. Now we're thinking about, okay, how can I maybe bring him around to get him out of position? Okay. Now, just standard left versus left, for instance, here. I'll go right first, right second, see? Okay, so here, let's just say I shoot, and as I get to here, he starts to sprawl on me there. Like that, just before you get all the way down. Like that. Yeah, he starts to put his weight on me, and what will happen is I'll start to get outstretched, so slowly just go into his sprawl. You'll see that I start to get pulled out like that. Okay, come back. So when we start to get out of position where my hips are kind of, you'll often see what will happen is I hit here and I come up and he starts to sprawl and I'm kind of like that. You see it all the time. People get stuck and I'm trying to take him down just keeping that position, just walk backwards with me. Yeah, and I'm trying to do this and he's sort of sprawling and eventually he sprawls and then I lose position. So you might shoot a decent shot. I should shoot decent. See? Yep. So I might shoot a like a decent shot. I come up and he starts sprawling, and I get caught here. So when that happens and you're in this position, all we're going to do is drop to both of our knees. So we're going to try and throw our head up and slide both our knees forward. Just a second. So we're going to end up in this position here. Okay. Head over hips, nice and straight. So we're out here tie up or whatever we do, we shoot, as I come up you start sprawling, now I'm here and this is coming back and I'm in this position here, so I'm going to drop both of my knees down and go head up. Here now I'm in a strong position, okay, here I can come back and then finish my take down there, okay, because I've got all that ability to drive. Come down, tie up. Boom, I shoot, I start to drive and sprawls. And I either take his back or I'll take him down. Okay, oh. this side down. Yep. So here again, we're moving around. Boom, he sprawls out. Yeah. Here I'm driving, I'm driving. Yeah. And then take him down. Okay, on that. Right. So let's just have the guy standing, just kind of lean on them walk back a little and then they'll drop down. 